okay so in the previous video we are able to know how to write the equilibrium expression k so if you have an aqueous system you can only write the kc for that um, for that chemical reaction kc that is the equilibrium constant in terms of the concentration however if you have a gaseous phase in your uh, equilibrium system we can write both the kc and the kp kc is the um, equilibrium constant in terms of concentration kp is the counterpart in terms of the pressure okay so that means if you can write two k expressions for the same reaction that means kp and kc should have a relationship and that is given by this equation kp equals kc times rt delta n gas so how how can we arrive up with that equation so let's do some derivation okay so this topic is more on derivation so suppose we have a ga gaseous substance a in equilibrium with gaseous substance b okay so since this equation is in the gas phase we can come up with kc and kp okay, so kc for this um, equation is the concentration of b raised to small letter b which is its uh, stoichiometric coefficient over the concentration of a raised to the stoichiometric coefficient small letter a in terms of kp we are going to express the pressure of these substances okay so that is the pressure of substance b raised to b over pressure of substance a raised to a what's next is that we are going to assume that gas a and gas b are ideal gas when I say ideal gas, they should follow the ideal gas equation of state. That means, it should follow the equation PV equals nRT. Dividing PV nRT by volume, we arrive with the equation P is equals to nRT over V. Okay, But what is this term? Moles over volume. That is molarity. Okay, so that means the pressure of a gas is just the molarity of the gas times the gas constant and the temperature. Okay, so I will not use M but I will use the square bracket because we are using square brackets to indicate the concentration of our substances. Okay, so that means the P term is equal to the concentration of that substance times rt okay, so that means we can rewrite this equation we can rewrite the kp as the concentration of gas b rt raised to b over the concentration of gas a rt raised to a all we did is just to substitute this pressure term to concentration RT because according to our derived equation pressure is just equals to this term so we substituted that inside the parentheses okay so what's next is that we're going to distribute this exponent distribute the B into each term same goes for the denominator so we can write kp is equals to the concentration of b raised to b times rt raised to b over concentration of a raised to a times rt raised to a okay what can you notice okay looking at this equation there is something you should be um there is something that you should uh, recognize from this equation because earlier we said that kc is equals to the concentration of b over a that same term appears here okay 
so that means kb is equals to kc times rt raised to b over rt raised to a okay we can simplify this fraction as the difference of the exponents since we have the same base so we can write kp is equals to kc times rt is to b minus a let's make sense of this term b minus a what is b minus a b is the moles of the gas in the product a is the moles of gas in the reactant okay so since b is equal to the moles of gas in product a is the mole of gas in reactant we can say that b minus a is the difference in the mole of gas um, from product minus the reactant okay so this term b minus a is just the difference of the moles of gas in the product and the reactant okay so i will indicate this as delta n gas or the change in the mole of the gas okay so that means we can simplify the equation as kp equals kc times rt delta n gas okay now something is uh there are just some things to remember for example the r here is the ideal gas constant and this is equal to 0 0.08206 liter atm per mole kelvin temperature is in kelvin so you have to convert your celsius to kelvin okay so that's the reason why we arrived with this equation kc kp equals kc times rt result delta and gas